welcome back so i made a post the other day for this uh this ampro ultrasonic uh leak detector i thought i'd just do a quick follow-up i i uh said i was going to kind of do a, a walk through and a oh, quick overview just um some people wanted to see how it operated so this is the ultrasonic tester it is the uld 300 um and then Typically, I don't think this kit comes with this transmitter. I think that's sold separately from what I've seen online, but and then it comes with a couple other attachments, this little satellite dish looking thing, and uh, and then a little, it comes with like a little uh, attachment to go on the nose so you can kind of get into some tighter areas and that would be hard to access otherwise. Like a, you know, evaporator core or something like that you know way up down there in the condenser where you can't see um but you just put this just clip your attachment on there and then i'll give you guys a quick uh rundown on how this thing works i did find an issue with it when i was uh just kind of initially figuring out how it worked and uh so unfortunately i'm gonna have to do some repairs but i'll um that'll be another video coming up very soon all right so there's that method i just showed you with the, the leak detector on its own and you just kind of um it listens for high frequency noises that you know we can't hear so or this transmitter uh from what i understand you you put it in like a box <laughs> you know like uh i mean well whatever you're trying to figure out if it's leaking uh so I'm going to give you a quick example so you guys know what I'm talking about. Just imagine this is your car and you have like a, you know, some type of weather stripping leaking, um, but you, you just can't figure it out. You hear like a whistling or, or whatever, you know, you, you could put it in any type of box. So um, this is, I just had this on hand. So you just turn it on and it's, it's uh, emitting a, a high frequency noise. I can't hear it right now, but so I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to latch it. Well, I'm gonna try. It's actually not a tight seal, so it'll be a good example. Then you're gonna turn this on, and if you can see, it has little uh, LEDs on the front. So as I get closer to the the gasket area, uh, it's gonna be you know right up around 10. Okay, I had the sensitivity set up a little high. You gotta adjust it so. Like you can see right here, we're, we're like right at one. I mean, it can hear it, but not that great. You know, and I'm like, okay, well, where is it leaking from? Let me see here. No. All right, so see the box. You know, we still got that transmitter in there. So look at the, right there. I'm right on the leak. You know, it's right, right on the seam there where the gasket would be. Move down, not so much, not so much closer closer bingo there's our leak you know you come up here to the top you know the sound's not getting through there very well come over here and you're looking oh closer closer bingo leak so it's pretty neat you know if it's something you just can't see or hear a super slow leak uh this this could be your friend for sure so the problem i'm having I'm gonna turn it off. So you're supposed to be able to take this this other transmitter out of the equation. Um, you know, I can see the light going up and down. I can see where the leak is. But the problem is, is you know, you can't always put this transmitter in a box. So this, you know, the satellite dish, this this tube that goes in this other attachment. And you just clip it to the front um you're supposed to hear you know you're supposed to hear the leak in your headphones there's a uh, headphone jack right here and when you put these on and you get closer to your leak you know you can you can physically hear it it amplifies it so you just keep moving around and y you can hear it uh, the problem is is that that doesn't work on this so i'm gonna show you why i think why okay so there's three screws on the back of this and you're also going to want to take the battery out and then 
once once I get this casing off, I'm going to show you uh, what I found, and I believe that's the issue I'm having here. So, just got the three screws, and then I got a, there's a cracked solder joint right on that ultrasonic transmitter, and. I don't know enough about this circuit design to know if that's exactly what's going on here. I, I mean, I'm sure it's not good. Um, let's see here. That little screw is going to be a bugger. Okay, come on. <laughs> Forgot. Oh, there goes the screw. That wouldn't come out. Okay, so and then this side of the case, the top just lifts off. Um, now this is the ultrasonic transmitter. Um, now let's look at it under the microscope. So I don't know if you guys can even see that. all right so you can see this is the transmitter there and let's see here if i can do this so you can see that solder joints crack i guess you don't even really need a microscope but um so see that that is supposed to be soldered and it's not uh, you can see like the other side you know the the one in the rear it, it is soldered it's a firm connection so like i said i don't know enough about these circuits but i believe you know that side that's soldered it goes to these leds and then this side goes to the headphone jack uh that'd be my best guess thus far so i'm gonna solder that and then uh and then we'll check it out and see see what happens all right i just put a little flux on there and i'm just i'm 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 just gonna try to reflow that solder joint um hopefully i don't need to add any i mean i think i can just reflow it but i don't know we'll see And bingo, huh? That's not easy, huh? Just gotta reflow that sucker. I put it back in the. There we go. Seen it reflow again. There we go. Good to go. Okay, that was a lot easier than I anticipated. It just, um, it just reflowed itself. So, um, and then. Um, I'm using some MG Chem, it's just the uh, 8341 No Clean Flux Paste. Uh, you always have to clean your flux, <laughs> clean the flux off. So, um, and then, yeah. So let's let's test this sucker out. See how she works. And you just put the case right back on. Super simple go I'm gonna want to get those screws where did I put those screws oh man let's see here it's not these that's insane I just picked them up I was like, oh, I'll put them somewhere safe well I'll always remember them oh okay <laughs> they're hiding so like I said just uh, there's just these three screws on the back and you fill them tight and bottom out don't over tighten stuff like this uh so you crack the case and you know when i when i first got this thing i i my wife found it for me and and you know i was kind of looking for an ultrasonic leak detector but um there was a couple i had in mind and, and this was not one of them this i i had no idea what it was I, she asked me she if, you know oh is this isn't this what you need and i said yeah it'll do until i can get what i want but uh, I, you know, I got it for like 80 bucks and then, uh, 
and I thought I was getting ripped off. Like I thought it was just some piece of shit, but fuck it, you know. Anyways, I looked it up on eBay and it's like over two grand for this thing. Like I, I'm just absolutely blown away. Um, so just put the battery back in, shut it, and then uh, let's see here where the cap is over here somewhere. So, yeah, so it'd be this cap here. Um, and it just kind of slides over this. Uh, one of these sides was kind of. Let's see here. I think it's this one. You just slide it over the top like that. And, uh,. Should be ready to go. Let's get the little satellite dish out. Then, really, I mean, I don't really have anything ultrasonic to test right now, but um, I just want to hear something. Like, I'm going to point it at things. I just want to hear if the headphones work or not. Because, um, I mean, I, I pushed that together and I, and I was listening and the headphones did not work. But, you know, it, it could have just been a bad connection and, um, so, I don't know, we'll see. I don't hear anything. Damn. So that sucks. Uh, okay, so that was kind of shitty. <laughs> I just recorded that night well i wasn't recording so anyhow i'll do it again real quick um so should be good to go uh, i'm just gonna plug this into the headphone jack and turn it on so let's see what we can see and you know i'm pointing it at the transmitter i don't hear anything in my headphones um uh, you know i really thought that would fix it However, I mean, I don't know enough about this circuit design to really dive too far into it. And uh, the problem is that there's, there's like no info on it that I can find. So I might have to send it in to get it serviced. But I mean, you guys get the point. Um, I was just trying to demonstrate what this thing's capable of. Um, and it's pretty neat honestly um you know when i uh i just can't believe when i looked it up and it was such an expensive little unit and that that's why i'm worried about taking it apart i anymore you know i i really don't want to be poking and prodding and um i'm gonna take another look at the circuit board and see if maybe there's some other cracked solder joints or maybe that headphone jack itself it looks a little hmm it looks a little tilted i wonder Let's see here. So let's see here. You know, actually, when I'm moving this around, I can hear little tiny crackles. I think it might be this jack itself. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to give a demonstration on what this thing does because I got some comments, you know, that uh, they, people kind of just wanted to see what it was and it was interesting and I agree it's a very interesting little tool it's going to be a great tool to add to my arsenal and uh, honestly I can't wait to get it using it full-fledged uh, in action you know for finding leaks like on condensers or you know hard to reach places where you can't see you know it's too quiet to hear it's such a small leak uh, but you know you pressure testing you know you're not going to listen and find it or uh, so pretty freaking neat anyways hope you guys enjoyed uh, 
like subscribe share uh comment below let me know what you thought and if you have any questions um i'll be glad to answer it's not them. working 100 percent, but i'm still stoked and uh I'm still going to use it. I'm, I'm going to attempt to, or I'm going to try to figure out somewhere that I can get it sent to, to get it repaired. Um, if I can't figure anything out, you know, in the next couple days here. So anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching as always. See you guys next time.